called Doji Cat, used her cow print outfit. That's what ended up inspiring her song Moon. This one was the one to actually springboard her career, make her label pay attention to her, and you know, it did bits for her. If you're looking for ways to get inspired by new song topics, this video will help you to generate loads of ways to do just that. The first one is going to be using memes and just things on the internet to inspire you of which i'm going to be including a lot more details on how you can do this in an upcoming series on my channel so definitely subscribe if you're interested in catching them once they're uploaded number two is what are you currently passionate about or like obsessed with animal crossing food the dog human design i'm a manifesting gen by the way if you're into it actually let me know in the comments what human design type you are it's just such a fascinating subject to me so whatever it is you're interested in make a song based around that even if it sounds dumb or like starts off as a joke that's how bondi blue started for me and fun fact i didn't actually know that it was bondi blue i literally sang it as bondi blue on the song i'm pronouncing it as bondi because i mean what am i ever hearing that word out loud so how am i supposed to know how to pronounce it long do you have any outfits I love it when i get so high space age girl. i'm on the come up bed i live up to my name or people into makeup some makeup looks that are in your wardrobe that you've worn that you've seen online that spark a story or a song idea for example doji cat used her cow print outfit that she was wearing that she was testing out before she went on tour. That's what ended up inspiring her song Moon. <laughs> this one was the one to actually springboard her career, make her label pay attention to her, and you know, it did bits for her. I never thought I'd be dressed as a worm while accepting an award. <laughs> Number four is be an absolute nerd, basically. Consuming loads of YouTube dissertations, uh, podcasts, gaming videos, DMs from your message requests. You can get some crazy stuff in there, trust me. There's literally just so much online to be inspired by and I feel like that's probably one of the biggest takeaways of this particular video. Online's got loads of stuff, even if there's nothing happening in your life, even if you're just like home and work, home and work, you can still find ways to like wax upon in your songs. <laughs> number five now which is what is that Last pen i was doing some cute doodles this morning let me show you on the flip side of what i was saying of consuming 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 things you can also try getting bored let your mind wander i've written four songs while waiting to get my nails done while traveling on a train. If you're anything like me, your brain will just start deeping everything and like start making connections. Inspo. Back to the more stimulating things. Doing arty farty or active things. That art design thing I just showed actually links in very well with that, funny enough. You know, walking the dog, going to the gym, just anything that's gonna get your mind in a flow state because that's the most conduct mindset to be in the fact that you'd be doing a different creative thing or something that you know keeps your body busy while your mind does its own thing as well but that also helps in making mind connections which you may not have ever expected what number are we on <laughs> Uh, this is number seven then. Great job counting, Kels. Create the right zone to be creating in. You know, the right space, you burn those candles or incense, get some fun lights, pictures and posters, and just place them all around your music making area. You gotta just make it super cozy, super comfortable, and very you. Because the more comfortable you are, the more likely it is that your brain will feel relaxed enough to do the damn thing of being creative. Now for the um, traumatized by life lot of us, you can try pretending you're in a therapy session. Is there something particular that's on your mind or like in your heart that you want to get out? What are your philosophies 
that you'd like to share, teach, or connect with other like-minded people on. Yeah, I've pretty much lost what number I'm on at this point. What's the most outlandish thing that you could think of to hook people into your song? Like, I can name some examples from my own music. I rub myself in loads of orange foam. Sniffing through the candles in the aisles of Tesco's. That, that one's gonna be coming real soon, you know? Now this particular tip was something that I picked up from Sage the Gemini. He did this line in Gas Pedal, making a bunch of puns around knives and forks. <laughs> I think it was in an interview he actually mentioned this. Mood boarding your songs. Using Pinterest or Notion to pin images of locations, outfits, ideas, colors. I love a good aesthetic. All of that that you envision for potential future songs. This also comes in handy for like future music videos that you would create for that song. I'll link my Pinterest below in the description as well. I'm talking like on the soft end of the spectrum, like chamomile, green tea, matcha, coffee, or on the other end, if you're of legal age, you can get a little bit of drink, dankeschön, etc. responsibly. There was a time where I used to make drunk demos and post them on the secret but not so secret SoundCloud account, doing it for the bands and the lols. But yeah, I'd be making beats, recording vocals on GarageBand, just because it was like quicker to do and just simply letting blues, having fun with the whole process of it. Sometimes you need to get your mind out of that rut. Most importantly, what I want you guys to take away from this is don't be afraid to document your ideas, even if they seem like a bit silly, weird or strange during the process of it. Like the practice and the consistency of it in a way that suits you as well. That's the other sort of point I've been banging on about as well is tailoring things to yourself because everybody's minds work differently what inspires you will be different to what inspires the next person or I have another video where I talk about how I creatively came up with the lyrics for Roses and Violets which will be on the screen somewhere now have a watch like this video oh and definitely leave a comment with any songwriting suggestions of your own that you'd like to share all right Bye.